Welcome to Yates Makes. In this video I just wanted to share with you some of the artwork I've been doing over the previous few days as well as a few tips and ideas to help and encourage you with drawing as well as some ideas for things that you can do with your drawings once completed. Now what inspired this in my last video I posted I was doing some printmaking mixed media work inspired by this image which was drawn by my my dad 45 50 years ago now this really got me reminiscing some of the earliest memories some of my first art lessons with my dad who of course i idolized i just wanted to draw like he did so i started out really drawing with pens stippling hatching sometimes some brushwork to block in areas like in this example so i'm always thinking well what can i make a video about so as well as wanting to do some pen and ink stuff i thought what can I communicate about encouraging people to draw because that's what I really want people to be doing as a result of these videos is having a go now selecting the right subject matter is so fundamental to enjoyment in your drawing now here I am going to make a case for natural forms in this case some seed heads that I've been drawing right they're forgiving in as much as no they're not random shapes but they are irregular, right? They vary. Who's to say whether your work is entirely accurate or not? It doesn't really matter. As long as you can communicate something of the character, the rough shapes, the atmosphere, the texture, the personality of what you are looking at, it still requires you to look, and there is, or therein is the kind of therapy, if you like, that challenge and that translation of what you're looking at to marks on the page but you want something subject matter that is going to offer you some flexibility and freedom now let me demonstrate here look here's the start of my next sketch I'm going to pause it at this point note the relative scale the comparative sizes of the two seed heads if I cut to the photograph or a photograph of what I was drawing you'll see how much bigger the one on the left is all right, I knew I'd made this mistake as I was drawing, but it didn't worry me because the drawing was still going okay. Okay, it's not spoilt it in any way. This is what I'm trying to communicate in terms of how you go about selecting, especially when you're starting out with drawing, a subject matter that is forgiving and is going to allow you some freedom to really explore materials, processes and techniques without getting too hung up on pinpoint accuracy in proportion and detail. Once you've done your drawings, of course, you've got starting points and possibilities, and these are so important to kind of building some momentum and continuity and increasing your enjoyment of your artwork. So with these drawings, I did some really quick experiments with some mixed media bases, and my jelly plate and some image transfer techniques that I'm linking in previous videos up above now and you know drawing for me is the fundamental starting point for everything it's the most immediate of all the processes it feels really essential now this was loads of fun mainly because I got to kind of reconnect with my early days in drawing uh, but of course push things on new possibilities for techniques I've been looking at recently so if you enjoyed the video please remember like share subscribe comment below most important though please get your pens out go pick a seed head go pick a natural form find a shell find something that is forgiving to draw from and enjoy it Look forward to seeing you soon in the next video. Take it easy. Ta-da.